आप लोग वेट करो अभी मैं वेबिनार में एक एक घंटे तक पार्टिसिपेंट से रिक्वेस्ट है कि थोड़ा सा स्क्रीनशॉट ले और मुझे पर्सनल पे शेयर करें गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग तो विद द परमिशन ऑफ विद्या मैडम मैम कैन बी स्टार्ट यस मैम so once again welcome all of you in this webinar first of all i want to uh, uh, pay my deep salutation to honorable president founder president of our institution shrimati radha radhi goyen ka our president of institution mr dilip radhi goyen ka sir honorable principal dr charu radha male madam honorable vice principal dr ambarash pandey sir today's day host person honorable yes vidya yes, ma'am ma welcome you ma'am morning all the participants faculty members research scholars and dear students so once again i warmly welcome you in this webinar which is very very essential for our bright future not only for us but our students also because uh, these are my common words कि इंस्टेड ऑफ जॉब सीकर वी शुड बी जॉब क्रिएटर एंड दिस इज नॉट माय वर्ड दिस इज द वर्ड ऑफ ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ आवर कंट्री कि आत्मनिर्भर भारत सेल्फ रिलायंस भारत एंड फॉर दैट पर्पस क्रिएटिविटी एंड इनोवेशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट इंपॉर्टेंट साइड्स ऑफ ऑन्टरप्रेन्योरशिप सो वंस अगेन वेलकम सो विदाउट टेकिंग मच मोर टाइम I want to introduce. It's my pleasure to introduce today's resource person, Honorable Dr. S. Vidya Ma'am. Ma'am has completed her MBA, PG, DCA, and PhD. She is presently working as an assistant professor in MIT Business School, MIT University, Haryana. She has three years of corporate experience, five years of research experience, and six years of teaching experience. She has completed MBA degree and PhD in human resources at Bharatiya University, Coimbatore, and data analytics courses from reputed institutions. her career research interests are sustainable hrm ergonomic wellness and artificial intelligence in management discipline she has delivered more than 20 invited lectures in different universities and colleges she has published books in lembo academic publishing germany and send lakhs publications and several research paper in international journal journals including curated scopus index and both journals contributed a chapter in igi publisher with a good h index and i index she received a best paper award in national research Colloquium 2015. Further, she has published a painting and holds editorial board membership in different international journals. She is also a member of Sage Publications. She is an official member of I I I A A C and I A R A of Research. So without so without much more time, time, it's my humble request to Honorable Dr. Vidya Madam, please enhance our knowledge, knowledge on uh, this topic in this webinar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the introduction, and I'm very like. 
uh, first of all i just want to tell you that like a uh, few of them are unmuted please mute yourself and also uh, like bhavana please stop sharing your uh, whatsapp uh, page yeah so we can see all those things all the chats everything please stop sharing bhavana so i was seeing that like uh, yeah bhavana neki she is presenting her <laughs> whatsapp page please uh, stop sharing that yeah yeah thank you bhavna so uh, thank you rupa ma'am uh, it's a sudden uh, meeting i can say this when we were talking in the whatsapp and rupa ma'am asked me that is this possible like thank god like uh, i'm just eager to uh, discuss a few points because i also have a uh, um, you know a uh, cute uh, on startup i didn't even establish much but i started uh, like a long back uh, it was a kind of in a hidden uh, startup i can say i didn't even um, established much i started up to that like i just uh, left the bangalore and i came here to haryana it's uh, stuck in between i'm not uh, doing too much on that particular startup anyway like uh, whatever the important things today i'm going to share it i hope everything will be useful for all the knowledge seekers uh, so let's jump into the session uh, i'm going to uh, share a ppt so that you can see that slides whatever the things i'm going to uh, discuss with you all <coughs> into your screen so please let me know uh, the screen is visible or not yes ma'am it is visible okay fine so i will start presenting this fine so as rupa ma'am said like uh, today i have like uh, they have given a topic regarding that accelerator or incubation opportunities for students and faculties in the early stage of an entrepreneurs so uh, what i thought to discuss in this particular session it is what is accelerator or incubation and what are the opportunities they have given for the faculties or students and even like uh, who's eagerly waiting to start an that startups okay who wants to become an entrepreneur in the future for those people for those people i am going to tell few ideas or hints to get move forward so those things only i am going to discuss in this usually in india you can see a uh, many of the many of the schemes related to that startups or related to the funding to the startups or if you want to become an entrepreneur how you can become an entrepreneur to doing this courses lot of things are available our main main drawback it is most of them they are not aware of that what it actually india has established that is indian government is doing it that they were not aware of it uh, mainly um, uh, based upon my uh, practical experience i can say this when i started i was literally struggling what i can do further so to whom i need to approach all those things i was struggling um literally like i was not able to uh, do some uh, kind of a you know, process to start those business also this was the situation so if i would have know those kind of an you know, opportunities that is what indian government has initiated for the entrepreneurs if i would have know i would have make it as a better so those things my future that is my future entrepreneur should not make those mistakes okay so that's the reason i have prepared those kind of you know, ppts that is upcoming slides you can see this those informations will be contained in there so uh, with those kind of you know, hint and then introduction i'm just moving to the next slide so that you can see Uh, the meaning of the business incubator so most of them here i can see this the entrepreneurs they know actually what is incubator what is accelerator and all but as our students are attending they don't know what is mean by incubator and why it uh, started how it is helping those things they don't know it so with the meaning only i'm going to start it so first thing the business incubator it's a kind of an organization only okay so this has 
programmed are designed to support the development and growth of the startup companies so if i want to start up any any kind of a company it doesn't matter that is i have to do this much only only it startup only like uh, like what i know the engineering startup. it is not about whatever the startups if you are going to do that is business if you are going to do those incubators will support for the development of this particular businesses okay what kind of an um, opportunities are available so what kind of an uh, funding process you can approach it all those all those supports the incubator can be given to any kind of an entrepreneur that is budding entrepreneurs okay so uh, for example i can take one of my friend uh, he has started uh, his own uh, tire company that is uh, molding and uh, uh, that uh, creating a new tire or uh, remolding like a kind of a retrying tire those things he started actually he started in pune but uh, he is basically from uh, kerala um, he started uh, when he started those business uh, like previously that is previously his papa was uh, take care in that business but when he enters after completing his mba when he enters into that business particular business he started to inch, like you know make some innovation on this by cutting cost but he doesn't know how to cut the cost and how to make it as more profitable business so that's the reason he was like identifying some incubators in that particular area actually he is from kerala as i said early so he started to attend that is he started to attend a training program which was conducted by uh, incubator place on kollam uh, kerala place so he has attended those training and also like he started to learn about the formula so if i add this much rubber or if i add this much uh, like a polycom like whatever the things it makes more quality product by cut the cost that he learned after that he came to his business and he started to implement those ideas or like whatever he learned in the training period right that he started to implement in his business and he started so this was the thing actually the incubator can be to it i hope now you got an this example you got an idea what actually the incubator are doing it. even you can see many incubators in colleges and universities so nowadays all the business schools have those kind of an incubators and it should be full fledged working okay the incubator you should not like you know starting an incubator and after that stopping it it is not like that you need to welcome your students especially the mba students uh, ideas or like kind of kind of an innovation you need to welcome and if they are starting you know starting any new business plans or any business model or any other thing you need to give an opportunity to that as an incubator you need to give an opportunity to those kind of numbering entrepreneurs whether it is going to run or not you can give an at least you know a kind of an a support you know if it is not financially i can at least you can uh, discuss a few things i will tell you that the uh, after this slides i will tell you few informations also anyway these are the incubators will provide always like a management training mentorship that is nothing about like a uh, taking in a experienced person if i want to start an entire company i can go and meet who is running uh, those companies successfully those people okay the successful people i can meet them and i can take many ideas from those people and also co working space that is if you don't have a space to place your company or run your uh, office okay you can get it in this and networking opportunities access to funding and much more we can't even list out everything in this single slide okay so uh, in bangalore and all this co-working space it's very very famous like uh, in single office you can find out many of that is many startups office but usually in 2017 and all like when i was searching uh, opportunities that is that time i have seen like in single period ke they will start an a uh, company that is startups will be there because i have uh, me and my friend we both have given an interview when we uh, reached they don't have a even a proper website also we were like yes anyone is trying to talk to me okay fine so the thing is like uh, uh, that time when we uh, like when we checked into the uh, website 
um, it was not available. And also, like, um, uh, what happened in the sense, um, we just took a vehicle and then we entered, uh, like, that was the vehicle and we entered into the office. And we came to know this is a kind of a uh, startup by seeing this, uh, that uh, space where they are working, okay, in a single PHK in the hall and kitchen everywhere, like, people are sitting and then uh, they, they were like working. And to be frank, I just want to tell you, we have given our interview on the terrace that is, you know, on top, uh, like, a kind of an, um, like, they put on a kind of an, a setup for, uh, uh, um, taking a lunch or something there only we have given an interview so this was the situation but right now it has developed like anything like uh, right now you can find out in a single space like uh, in a single space you can uh, take a uh, like a uh, many many startups can take a um, uh, like a, a place to work okay so those things are a lot of change those things are improved one and a lot of changes also oh happen in Bangalore oh actually it is quite acceptable one okay and also the business incubators are, are perceived to be the mainstay of economic development programs so why we have to give those things kind of, those things in this uh, like in the particular in indian government all those things and mainly i can say about this uh, in india or in any country you can see this this kind of an incubators always find out those uh, people who is ready to take an risk that is business okay who is ready to take a business and who needs the small small help kind of in a management training and all other steps okay whatever we have discussed on the top so those things they will be given the kind of an incubator always helps those entrepreneurs or startups and it just directly or indirectly having that particular you know connection to develop that that is uh, enhance that economic that is position in a particular um, country or nation okay because uh, as all you know uh, those startups that is small companies or startups or smes always uh, trying to uh, keep the best of uh, best out of best that is uh, economic uh, development can be happened by those kind of you know, startups and smes so that's why this incubator is always trying to help those people that is budding entrepreneurs. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, guys. Anyone is trying to talk to me? Okay, fine. So these all the things are uh, actually very important to each and every nation to develop their economic situation so that's why it is very important the incubators the you know functioning the incubators is very important for each and every developing or a developed nation okay so what is the primary objectives of this particular business incubator so there are uh, creating employment opportunities in the local economy and also commercializing technologies how it just creates an employment opportunity if i start a business if i start a business for example i am not only the person who's going to work or who is going to take this everything so i can uh, take uh, that is i can recruit uh, uh, select a few uh, workers for my company there i can give some uh, job opportunities whether i can ask them to keep it you know ask them to sit in one place or let them work it in the work from home right now a lot of options are there i can recruit and i can pay to them okay so that's why they are telling it it will always give in a more employment opportunities and the local economy because i'm not going to find out any foreigner to work for me right if this is necessary the mergers and acquisition if anything falls into this particular business that time i can i need to right otherwise rest of the times i need to find out the local aids like who will be helping for me right so those things it's very important and also like commercializing the technologies what actually the technology right now it's developed that's what they are telling so this is what about the business incubators right and right now i'm moving to that what are the different types of you know, business incubators are available in india so there are many uh, business incubators here i'm going to discuss with you like a uh, few incubators where we are very frequently we are using very frequently we are hearing but we doesn't know that is we don't know excuse me, we don't know about that particular thing. okay so the first thing it's about uh, corporate incubators so the main objectives of this particular corporate incubators are to enhance that entrepreneur skills and to help the startups to keep up with the other industries or competitors. Okay, how 
I can that is carpet incubators can enhance that entrepreneur skills okay so where I can go and conduct a kind of an, a seminar or I can go and conduct an, a training for those colleges and all those. Even I have seen some companies will give those kind of an, a training to the college. So they will start to put the seed on their mind that is okay. I also can be that is I also uh, can run a business or can start a business. Those kind of an, a thing can be you know, started from the mind. And also they will give some kind of an knowledge about the competitors. So if I want to start in a business and the transportation like a cab services or any other thing, I should know about these two kind of an, a competitors. They're very big competitors, Ola, right? O-L-A, Ola and Uber, U-P-E-R, Uber. So those those two people are like a much like, a, you know, uh, they have spread over all over India. So we can't even uh, like, a, you know, uh, you know, leave those uh, big competitors as like that. So they will always discuss about those competitors. They are doing this, this, that thing. And what you are going to do in Numeri. I can tell about this blue smart, blue dot. Like, uh, uh, I think blue smart or blue dot one uh, cap, uh, cap service has started. Actually, as usual, right? As like Ola and uh, uh, Uber, they are also giving in a cap service. But a few things are a little bit different. How? In the sense. They are giving in a green, that is, you know, electric vehicle. Oh, and also like, a, um, um, how I can say this, the service is how they are providing in the sense, it's more quicker and more available taxis. Okay, in main, that is in metro areas. I have seen this in Delhi under when I reach uh, Delhi airport. Lot of, lot of uh, the caps, I can I, I have seen this. So that's why I'm just saying. So these are the small difference where you can pitch your uh, startups on those uh, big competitors, in between those big competitors. So those things you need to identify and you need to develop with the help of an corporate incubators. Okay. And next thing, local economic development incubators. So main uh, work for this local economic development incubators to support the small medium enterprises, okay, for the specific group for the overall upliftment, upliftment of society. For example, I can take this graph work and all. So you can see this each and every place have an, uh, in India itself. Uh, State-wise, you can see the different graph work. If you are say, taking in a silk sari itself, like a lot of other things. In Tamil Nadu, Kanjipuram, in Kerala, different. And if you are coming uh, Karnataka, Mysore. And if you are coming in Nath also, like Banaras, all those things. Different kind of an, uh, uh, silk saris are. How you can develop it. So I can, I can I can tell this lot of lot of uh, um, advertisement. It is not necessary because that is the signature signature uh, product of this particular state. So uh, so we don't want that, but we need to support them, right? How financially are kind of an, uh, like promoting those products, okay, to the tourists or to the people like uh, like uh, not only the tourists like normal people who's living in that particular local area, they should know about it. So for those things, like uh, uh, this local economic development incubators, they have started in this. So those people yearly once they will conduct kind of an exhibition or workshops. So you can also go and see, buy or learn. Those things can be possible. And when you're coming into the private investors incubators, here they mainly assist high potential business, such as a technology intensive startups, okay, and gain benefits by selling the chances. Here, this private uh, investors incubators in Bangalore, I can see this mainly because they will start in a business where that software that is system related, okay, software or any other system related business, they will start, okay, the technology intensive startups, they will do it. And then after developing uh, some time, okay, they will like uh, they will start to take this kind of an, uh, like, uh, you know, um, how I can say this, uh, where I can, by, where I can like uh, give more because, uh, yeah, come, I will come to the point because in Bangalore and all, like uh, this software is very, very, very important and maintaining the software to maintain those softwares again, they will create an, a one application. Okay. So when I was working as an, a data analyst in, uh, and a US company, US based company. Uh, the main thing, uh, like I just want to uh, discuss, that like we will save all the passwords, right? Right now we are uh, like uh, giving everything in that particular Google, uh, like uh, Google will, you know, save uh, your passwords and everything. Uh, 
and whenever we need we will taking it but uh, previously it was not like that but also like uh, that is so confidential uh, there will be in a lot of uh, technological threat and breaches will be happen so for that they have created one software right so those software will help you to save your password so that uh, actually they have when the iso auditing it came and that time they have started to install each and everyone's that is each and every one employee's system that is in the laptop okay so those kind of an uh, applications it is necessary where the company is running those applications they will start to sell got it how the private investor incubators is working they will start a business and they, with the help of this that is uh, pi with the help of it like they will develop it that is enhance those businesses and they will get benefit of the selling shares of this okay this is about private investors incubators and when you are coming into that next type of business incubators that is academic incubators so here they will offer the new sources of finance while supporting the entrepreneurial spirit and focusing the civic responsibility what exactly our institutions that is universities are doing here right now so you can see this uh, many uh, many universities have this kind of an incubators um uh, when i was working uh, in university like uh, my previous university in bangalore i have seen that the students our mba students they they uh, they had a plan uh, i'm not sure about it whether they are uh, started it or not they had a plan um like a kind of an a selling food um, uh, it is not about like a cafe or any other thing a kind of an a kitchen where you can get a food from a house that is house maker that is uh, you know housewives who is sitting in a home and then getting this they are not going to make any kitchen cloud kitchen or no nothing okay actually they are going to get the food from those housewives and they are selling they are going to sell those foods in, inside the college so that was their plan actually so they went to that incubators and they have started to discuss with that uh, manager that is humor is the in charge okay sorry humor is the in charge so uh, i'm not sure about it how the process uh, like uh, went or whether they have started successfully or not but this was the plan actually if the students have any kind of an plan or any kind of an startup uh, that is ideas you can go and discuss with that kind of an incubators where it is located inside the college okay you may get a small amount that is financial help also like you may get kind of an a you know a uh, workforce from those kind of an incubators okay i hope those people have uh, done something good okay fine anyway academic incubators always target that external project and projects internal to the academic institution also not only that inside the uh, colleges what are the external projects if it is comes if it is helps that particular students obviously they will take actually uh, like uh, um, like what we have done in the sense previous in my previous college in they have started to recruit the people that is they have started to recruit our mba students to work for those incubators okay those things are very very important whenever you are starting an incubator or if you are taking in a start as whatever it is always that employment opportunities will be increased for those particular local area and also the economic level also will be increased in this and coming to the venture capital incubators so here um, actually all the people have the issue like a uh, you have a plan you have an, a big idea to start a business maybe that is a new thing uh, where all the indian people or all the country, you know all the everyone everyone needs those kind of a business right but to function that that is to run the business we need right if the machine wants to run oil need right so same as like the finance it's kind of another that oil is need for the business right so for that particular thing only this venture capital incubators is going to help so it will offer a funding okay in exchange of a share or ownership of the company otherwise in that any other thing they can take it but excuse me i'm in, sorry i'm in the class i'm in the class i will call you back sorry guys my students yeah anyway like uh, whenever you are starting in a business actually like here you need a money 
like uh, to invest something the capital the initial amount it is needed so this kind of an you know, venture capital incubators are the angel investors they will help you to give them money i can tell you that um, for example um, uh, a company xyz a company is that they have started a business um and uh, like um, you are like they have they are earning more money and uh, they they need to okay they need to like uh, do something apart from that okay apart from that they need to do something they are thinking in that way so similar like that that similar like xyz the company you are also started and you are also running a business in that uh, same area maybe like uh, uh, in mumbai or in pune or whatever it is different things you can take um you are running it so if you want to take any amount okay to find start a business or to uh, develop or to expand a business you can go and approach those people so those companies will help you to you know fund those and instead of that they can take an uh, any ownership or any share of your company that can be done that's uh, actually the venture capital and when you are coming with an angel investors um, so the people will be individual okay uh, just think about us if i am a million or a billionaire uh, i am ready to uh, fund anyone like but i am expect you know i am expecting that uh, good business proposals so uh, i have a money but i need a business good business proposal where that will be help so for example i can take an a swiggy uh previously we don't have an uh, any kind any kind of an uh, idea like uh, if you want to go to a hotel also you need to plan a week early right so uh, next week we are going this hotel and how the food will be how much cost will be how we have to commute from my home to that hotel whether the, i can take my friends or not all those things we would have you know we would have think and then only we have gone for it. but uh, right now it is not about those thing if you have money order the food from the swiggy or zomato and it will come to your home you can eat aramse whether you can watch the serial or watch you know watch a netflix whatever it is but that food you can enjoy so the swiggy uh, like they have planned it actually kind of an you know this is like a, a people how we can encourage uh, to reach the hotels okay if they are not coming to the hotel directly also at least the hotel things need to be function it properly right so that's why they have take up with a kind of a plan and they started to distribute it maybe some or another angel investors they would have helped or any kind of an venture capital incubators would be helped it so for example only i have taken a video okay uh, try to understand so this is the kind of a thing so i i was having a plan that is how i can take my uh, you know um that is with the plan how i can take my plan to help some kind of an industry that i have done with my one that is a single application that's it but how many behind those application how many hotel industries are running so quietly or you know profitably that's the thing okay i hope now you got an idea about this venture capital incubators and then angel investors venture capital investor that is incubators or investors are group of people or a company who like will be giving an a uh, fund support to the startups or uh, you know budding entrepreneurs are the angel investors it is about individual person who has enough money and they can give an a uh, financial support to the startups or budding entrepreneurs this is about this venture capital incubators and when you are coming into the kitchen incubators here they will be you know sorry if they will be providing safe place that is space for the entrepreneurs where i can cook where who will be in my chef what are the chefs and the, what are the restaurants i can uh, place it in a different places okay you need to find out a good place right to start a restaurant okay so those things uh, actually will be possible with the help of an uh, kitchen incubators i hope i hope you know one uh, biryani uh, um uh, that is a, it's like actually cloud kitchen and bahrus i am not sure about it that how you are how you will be pronouncing but uh, those are uh, uh, kind of an a um, uh, cloud kitchen those things are like a kind of an a new startups um how i can say when i was in bangalore i think two or three years back only that was the first time i'm just you know i'm just seeing those cloud kitchen in the swiggy and they but they don't have any restaurant they don't have any big restaurants or any other thing 
we 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 can't even see actually where the bagru's hotel or restaurants it is there in this maybe in north india maybe you can find it but in bangalore you can find it in this okay but you will be getting enough food when you are ordering it those things it is called as a cloud kitchen they will be starting a kitchen without any dining uh, services or any other thing only that delivery service parcel okay you can take that up. okay so those things are very helpful uh, you know you can you can cut the cost if you are doing a service you need to pay, you know put the people payment and again like other charges and other things have to be have to be given electricity and other sources and you are using it right for that you need to pay but these things you with the help of an a kitchen incubators you can start and you can get more money out of it and next thing it's about social incubators so the social incubators it's a kind of an organization that helps and supports the individual with innovative ideas for the business that can bring positive change in the world what actually will helpful for the social how you can so you can see like a lot of ngos and other things without uh, uh, taking much money from that but they are changing right even your business plans if any business plans have an a different kind of an ideas which helps the social or uh, the society okay that is possible with help of a social incubators you can start and you can start to help the society or a nation that's one okay so these are the few uh, types of an a business incubators we have discussed right now i'm moving to the uh, roles that is what are the functions of the business incubators a few functions only i have listed it here okay there are a lot there are a lot okay so they will guide the startups or ventures on how to compete with the established industry players but again the competitors how you can compete with what they have and what you need to have it the new things okay the gap will be filled and also this business incubators will help with basic of business the what is the fundamental things you need to keep it how to start how to register to whom you need to approach how to get a fund okay without much risk okay all those things like kind of in a basic things also they will be helping in you and what are the things they will be providing in the sense networking activities with the people like a lot of people also like with internet access high speed of internet so those things also we will be getting in this many of the startup business still they are in the incubators how you will you know take care of the baby with uh, like uh, without an uh, you know if you are having an uh, anemic or baby or any other thing how you keep this in the incubator same as like the startups of that like a uh, um, few ideas but people think that if we are like helping them it would be reach in the next level those ideas they will keep it in incubators and they will be nurturing that is they will be feeding good things and then only they will take out of into the real world okay so they will help the startups to save the operating cost as i said in the beginning uh, how the uh, retraining that tire uh, industry how they have done so they will teach them by giving an a management training or the with the help of an any mentorship they will be taken up good ideas and then they will be start the business so with the help of it we can try to you know cut the cost and incubators provide the marketing assistance also so they will be telling about because actually i just want to uh, combine that next point also the market research once if you have done the market research you will be identify you will be identify who is your target customer okay and the segmentation all those things only i'm telling the market segmentation target customer okay and where exactly you need to start the business how you need to you know market your a uh, product it may be similar okay if i want to start an any uh, any kind of an cosmetics so i can again tell take a one uh, small step that called sugar uh, that is a cosmetic company only a lady has started that but after long struggle she has started why the, the thing goes like uh, she has done exactly the research that i have to because cosmetics product you know right like a lot of lot of different companies the competitors are huge right so how you can compete with them so for that like you need the marketing assistance so these incubators they know what are the competitors are there who will be uh, if you start a business who will be your better comp you know competitor then they will tell you those things okay where the gap it is what they are missing the big competitor what they are missing they will be teaching you and according to that you can start your new business and so they will create a long lasting job for the new graduates that incubate like you know startups whenever you are keep keep your business plans on the incubators they know it right they know it like how big the business is going to be 
and also like what are the employment opportunities you may get it and also like they will be uh, taking that experienced mid career pro you know personnel that is workforce also like uh, the executives okay whatever it is not only the new graduates whatever that thing because once if you start the business we need experienced people and also graduate newly that is freshers also it is not like we can't even stop oh no i need only freshers because i want to cut the cost of this like a uh, salary all those things we need some experienced people right to like a uh, kind of an expert opinion whenever you want to ask this uh, because they know how to shorten the work right so for this and also it will be help that accounting and financial management also like this helps that is business incubators will help that um access to the bank loans loan funds and then guarantee programs all those things so mainly i can tell about it people will go to the incubators or the accelerators to get a financial help uh, i want to start a business this is my plan i need a money incubators can provide something but not too much but they will identified and i will they will show you these are all the venture capital and the angel investors are available in the market you can go and approach okay so those things it is possible these are the uh, few roles and functions of the business incubators and right now i'm moving to that incubators versus accelerators so i just want like a few a few points only a mild difference uh, it's there in this uh incubators and accelerators so this incubators are more focused about providing long term support for the early stage in startups okay if you are starting a business still the you know how uh, the child can you know uh, like a without any problem the child can do the work till the time they will be there in the incubator right if the child is not same as like once the startup they can stand on their own leg at the particular stay till the time they will be the incubators will be helpful in this but the accelerators typically work with startups that already have some traction and are looking to rapidly grow for the business so they will be work along with that but for that growth for the business and but in this particular incubators they may offer the broader range of service okay broader range of services have a less selective application of criteria not much things in this okay uh, we can tell about it like uh, uh, whatever we have seen those uh, different types of incubators they will be helping uh, like a respective uh, area of business with a broader range of uh, services right if you want a space yeah come i will show you if you want to find yeah come i will show the angel investors or some kind of net. kind of a broader range of uh, services with like you know um how i can say this mold or develop those kind of startups so accelerators are typically more focused on funding and may require equity in the startups for work with okay accelerators they will work with the startups and they will always help you know also they will take some that is some kind of an uh, um how i can say this uh, maybe uh, the management portion or management position those things they will take it from this without those they will not. but incubators are not like that you just start to run i will leave you till the time i will be with you i will be holding your hand like that they will be working this fine anyway uh, right now like uh, we have seen this what is incubator that is business incubator what are the different types of you know, business incubators and how it helps the different kind of an industry also difference between the incubators and accelerators because you should know about it why only we are talking about incubators not accelerator because that is little bit because once if you start you will otherwise you can't take this so but beginning from the beginning itself you can take help of an incubators okay now i'm just moving to that a different type of an government schemes for the startups in india what are the government schemes they have initiated in india especially in india for the startups okay that only i'm going to discuss so most of the time here they will be giving in a loan with the collateral without collateral all those things we are going to discuss so here also i am going to discuss very 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 frequently used are very famous government schemes only i'm going to talking about this also most of them they don't know about this that's why okay that's why i have taken this uh, common uh, startup thing okay uh, startups uh, government schemes 
So first point, that is uh, first government scheme about the Startup India Initiative. So this Startup India Initiative scheme actually simplifying the regulations with self-certification and the compliance relaxations. So what rules and regulation you have, okay? You need to, so right now, whatever we have seen, those incubators and all those things, like you need to start a business and after you know after some times you have uh, you know running the business all those things it is okay fine but whenever you are starting in a startup in particular place in bangalore or in tamil nadu karnataka maharashtra whatever wherever you want if you want to start a business that is startups you need to analyze this kind of you know, government schemes and which is going to help you a lot right that whether it is financially or non financially right there is a there is a some points where you want to register your company whether it is a startup whether it is a mnc whatever it is the company i hope you guys knows about this different kind of a business and how you need to start up solo proprietorship and then partnership and uh, private limited public all those different kind of a business forms are there what kind of a business forms you are going to do, do it and according to that you need to do the registration the government registration right whenever you are doing in a registration lot of rules and regulations you need to adhere it that is government because you are starting in india you need to do this for example i can take this tax okay so if you are in a startup by investing so and so amount what is the income that is profit you are going to take revenue you are going to take according to that how much you need to pay the tax that you need to pay it you can't even add it okay so those kind of you know, rules and regulation you should be thorough on it after that you have to run as per the rules and regulations right so this startup india initiative this scheme actually it will tell about this rules and regulation how to start when to start what is the funding and what are the main process all those things okay also this compliance relax compliance sorry compliance sorry guys relaxation in the sense what are the rules and regulations how it can be relaxed if you are doing these things how i can be relaxed those all those things will be clearly discussed in this particular scheme okay and next scheme about startup india seed fund scheme uh, shortly we will call it sisfs okay so this is about uh, providing financial assistance up to a uh, 10 crore to uh, that is aggregated incubators okay we will give the financial assistance up to 10 crores okay but from the aggregated incubators the seed money in the sense uh, when you were starting in a startup in india uh, the initial capital amount, the initial fund, okay, that can be, you know, uh, possible, but it should be come through the uh, aggregated incubators. Only then you can reach up to the Startup India seed fund scheme and you can get it some amount. But again, I'm just telling, it is not about like, uh, yeah, I'm going to take in a 10 crores or more than that. It's not like that. What's your business plan? And what's your objective? Why you are starting a business? Everything you need to discuss with them, okay, with those people. After that only they will finalize, okay, according to the business, according to the requirement, how much it can be possible. Not that only 10 crores are like this, okay? Oh, fine. The next thing, next scheme about credit guarantee scheme for startup, that is CGSS. So these scheme guarantees loans up to, okay, here the loans, okay, loans up to 5 crore from participating banks and elevating financial constraints. So I can give a loan that is credit based loan. I can give it. You can get it and you can pay it anywhere, whatever it is. There you can see this financial assistance they can provide it. They can't give the fund from the scheme, but financial assistance. But here the guarantee loan they will be giving it. So any other way, like one or another way, we need some amount. If you are able to, if your business is running properly and if you are able to pay back, you can go with the CGS. Otherwise, you can go out as AFS. Okay. And next year, you are coming with this Atal Innovation Mission AIM, we will be calling. For those things, uh, if you are starting a business that is startups in the healthcare or education, agriculture, or any other thing, this AIM will be help you in this. Those are also grants up to 10 crores financial assistance. It will be given. So all those schemes, whatever the schemes till now we have seen, the first one, it is about rules and regulation. What are the things need to be followed? Uh, when you start a business and how the rules can be relaxed all those things we can get it 
but rest of the three things and uh, even like when you are coming into that uh, other in upcoming slides the other things and all like they will be giving an a that is uh, giving an assistance or help to get an a uh, particular so and so amount right that is uh, fund to your business okay and next thing software technology parks of india stpi okay steps be called in this so it offers tax benefits infrastructure support and incubation facilities nurturing the growth of over 85000 okay stpi institutes that is stpi institute what kind of an uh, infrastructure support you need and incubation facilities so if you are doing in a startup okay fine you need an help of an incubator in the sense they will be giving it and nurturing that growth okay how i can grow because as i said in the first slide that is you know from the beginning i'm just telling you whenever this small medium scale that is and small medium enterprises or small medium scale businesses and also the startups always helps to develop that you know particular nations the economic level that is economic growth can be happen so that's the reason they will always give or create those schemes where that particular schemes can help those startups without like you know hello hello, hello. yes fine without any struggle how we can start and how we can implement those business ideas in the respective place and next it's very important most of them may hear about this pradhan mantri mudra yojana that is pmmy so here first there will be you know uh, like a loan schemes and all available uh, as i have mentioned three categories of loan schemes they have given sishu so up to 50 and kishore up to like a maybe my pronunciation is uh, wrong but uh, like a these three different uh, categories of an uh, scheme that is loan schemes are available under that pmmy government so and again that one 5 5 lakh to uh, 10 lakh uh, this kind of an uh, schemes under like what scheme you are going that again it's but here i can see this it's a like a main main that is important work it is recognizing this msmes okay i hope you know this what is mean by msme i was already this medium small scale you know and enterprises and this particular uh, pradhan mantri mudra yojana the schemes empowers uh, that particular startups or any business with collateral free loans ranging from 50 to 10 lakh okay that is three types of loan schemes we have discussed right that's what so collateral free in the sense you no need to only keep any uh, land document to get the loan or any that without any uh, documents you can get those funds from the government that is indian government scheme so this is very important most of them are using this pradhan mantri mudra yojana um, getting funds and then starting the business when you are coming into the next government schemes for the startups so that is this portal the company registration gst compliance and license approvals and clearance for this 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 portal will be helpful okay so how i want to register the company go to the pis portal and check it and what are the gst complaints that is relaxation for those companies so i can tell about it not all the companies are not all the uh, type of an uh, industries not pay you know they don't want to pay uh, the entire gst they do have some relaxation and so that they can check it in that particular portal and how the licenses can be approved that is you know get it and approvals clearance all those things you can take it in this this portal and next thing it is about uh, diary processing and infrastructure development fund so here those is actually uh, for this diary processing and diary infrastructure fund it provides the financial assistance for setting up or expanding the processing units okay so how you can uh, get it get it that uh, financial assistance and also like how you can expand that particular diary uh, company or a startup in this so mostly in this uh, rural area you can find out this didf uh, schemes common schemes where the uh, where that exactly full fledged you working in this and next thing next thing it's about startup intellectual uh, sorry guys startup intellectual property production scheme so intellectual property production scheme in the sense that is sips like shortly we will call this particular scheme exactly uh, safeguard your ideas okay 
so if i have any business idea or if i have a any business model in my hand i can go and approach this particular like a kind of an uh, you know offices according to that government okay and i can give that also like whatever the startups you have started it is, it has a different business model right and that should not be copied by any other any other thing so if you want to think if you if you sorry uh, if you want to save save for those kind of a model or so those kind of a intellectual property so this actually helps you to save for it okay so this actually enhances you to confident you know confidentially build your brand also uh, i can say about it like a lot of startups are there but uh, it should not be started by this similar name it is not about the duplication i'm not telling but uh, whenever you are starting any business it is very difficult to find out on a name because i have struggled whenever you are because the first thing what i have done i started on a website i didn't even type because i don't have an any workspace it was uh, like a, i was sitting in a home and i started i first i started to create a website and that uh, there only i have identified so if you give an any name uh, it will automatically reject okay it will tell that uh, this has already this name is already registered by so and so uh, change the name a kind of nothing because everything it is like uh, connected in the website so uh, like you no need to worry about it but some other things are also available in the office and you can go and check whether this is possible or not this is not everything okay based upon the scheme it's nothing about like what the intellectual property copyright all those things will be safeguarded under this particular scheme and next thing it's about market access promotion scheme maps okay so it provides this financial assistance for participation in the international trade fairs and then exhibition opening doors to the new market and then opportunities actually so if i want to participate in any any kind of an uh, like uh, according to my uh, startup if i want to participate in any international trade fairs or exhibition i can go and approach and i can get an idea maybe the financial assistance and uh, i will go and participate in this and i can develop the business so i have started my business in india okay fine so apart from that what i can do it if i want to develop or if i want to go and merge with any, any other uh, international companies i need to go and approach directly calling and getting this thing it's not possible but those open area that is open market that place people will come i can see the customers also and i can see this my mergers also right so those those things are very important so for that this maps will be you know help you those kind of na um entrepreneurs okay excuse me fine anyway so these are the different government schemes for the startups in india actually full plus two it is working how we are going to approach what's our purpose or what, which scheme actually we have to uh, approach it. those things you need to very clearly think and do okay so it is not about i need to approach everything and they are not helping so what's your requirement according to that which exactly that is fit for you you need to go and approach i just want to show you one more page uh, that is web page where you can see all those um let me take this so regarding the startups incubators all those things uh, actually they have given yes so i hope this is visible to everyone so here you can see this uh, the startup india actually it's a government site okay um, whatever the uh, details i have discussed in the ppt those things also i have taken from the government website only i kept everything in the reference slide you can see this because the indian government is ready to help all the you know that is best plan business best business plans our best business startups startup entrepreneurs okay they are ready to help but uh, how you are approaching who you are whom you are approaching those things it's matter actually so here i can show you that how the indian government has uh, created this particular uh, website in the sense 
based upon that indian map you can see this and the first thing it is about startup how many startups are there like 12 43 and 59 i, I can't even count the number those many startups are there but whenever you are taking this and you be 11 6 64 that is 6, 604 11 604 and when you are coming to the mp 39 19 and when you're coming into the maharashtra it is C, 22, 324. And when you are coming in Karnataka, it is about 13, 486. It's more in Maharashtra. More startups in Maharashtra are still functioning, registered, properly registered, and properly it is working. Okay. And when you are taking the mentors, okay, where you can see this exact mentor. Again, it's a Maharashtra. It's in the highest place. 173 mentors are available. Maybe in a different kind of an, uh, uh, sectors or different kind of uh, different kind of an, uh, service businesses. You can approach them. Okay. So and I'm, I just want to show you those incubators also. So here you can see this total incubators is about uh, 1062. When you are coming into that incubators in Karnataka South 114, Tamil Nadu 117, again Maharashtra it's the second uh, top, sorry third top it's 108 and UP 87, in Gujarat 76, like Rajasthan 42, similar like this in all the states have a different, you know, uh, different different kind of an uh, incubators and which is helping actually which is helping that particular uh, entrepreneurs or startup idea planners okay those people so here you can see uh, the other things if i take that investors one second guys so the investors and accelerators all those things will be you can see this one second let me refresh this page So our investors and accelerators are not yet updated, but when you are coming into this particular uh, state-wise, okay, state and then union territory, everything they have given. If I want to check uh, the state that is Gujarat, uh, that particular startup spot and all is there in the sense, I can go and check by clicking here or also clicking there also I can check in. It's a kind of an interactive page they have given. So it's uh, exactly so helpful, okay so very helpful uh, dashboard they have created for the entrepreneurs and then startups in this okay so if i take this up again so yeah once again it is updated uh, like a uh, up have a uh, 11604 startups and 79 mentors and 87 incubators only in up i'm just telling okay three investors are there and 11 accelerators are there so by seeing this again i'm telling you can get an idea where you can start a business and where you can where you can start a business and where you can identify the mentors and also the incubators where you can get a help okay investors and accelerators also yes so these are the things i just want to share you all with you i hope this uh, conversation that is uh, this particular um, webinar will helpful for the budding entrepreneurs and who has a better idea to start a business in upcoming years so uh, Ru rupa ma'am my side is done um, any any other thing any questions anything you want to discuss so dear participants if you have any query if you have any questions please ask. Madam, okay. i think there is no question no query <laughs> maybe they understood everything or they didn't understood understand anything so there are two possibilities <laughs> Yes, I like uh, here we can't discuss about it like um, um, how we can go and approach that like, kind of a thing. I can show you the path where the people can go and approach the correct path that is possible. So, thank you so much, ma'am, uh, for sharing your knowledge on incubation and uh, uh, startup. And startup and incubation go always in hand in hand. So thank you so much for sharing your valuable uh, knowledge experience. Uh, 
with our among august audience so without giving more time i request uh, dr bibha sharma madam to propose the vote of thanks for this session धन्यवाद मैडम नमस्कार सर्वप्रथम विद्या की आराध्य देवी माँ शारदा की चरण वंदना करती हूँ हमारे संस्था के संस्थापिका श्रद्धे राधा देवी जी को नमन करती हूँ भारतीय सेवा सदन के अध्यक्ष महोदय माननीय दिलीप राज जी गोयन का जिनके मार्गदर्शन से हम इस तरह के वेबिनार का आयोजन करते हैं उनके प्रति मैं कृतज्ञता ज्ञापित करती हूँ महाविद्यालय की प्राचार्य महोदय जो आज के इस वेबिनार की अध्यक्ष रही हैं मैं उनके प्रति भी कृतज्ञता ज्ञापित करती हूं और आज के इस कार्यक्रम की आधारशिला और ज्ञान का केंद्र बिंदु मैं चंद शब्दों में कहना चाहूंगी कि बिजनेस इंक्यूबेटर और न्यू स्टार्टअप को जैसे गागर में सागर भर दिया हो इस तरीके से मैडम डॉक्टर एस विद्या मैडम ने यहाँ प्रस्तुत किया है मैं तह दिल से आपके प्रति आभार व्यक्त करती हूँ सचमुच मैडम आपने आज के इस वर्तमान युग में किस तरीके से स्टार्टअप की आवश्यकता है और कैसे उसे सकते हैं बिजनेस के विभिन्न पहलुओं पर आपने व्यापक मार्गदर्शन किया है कैसे शुरुआत करें मुद्रा की व्यवस्था कैसे होगी हर पहलू को आपने स्पर्श किया है और मुझे लगता है कि आज की युवा पीढ़ी ही नहीं बल्कि रोजगार के अभिलाषी जो इस चैनल से जुड़े हुए हैं उन सभी को आपके ज्ञान का निश्चित रूप से लाभ होगा और भविष्य में स्टार्टअप की संख्या निरंतर बढ़ने लगेगी और जो हमारा सपना है कि हमारा राष्ट्र विकासशील राष्ट्र से विकसित राष्ट्र के और जो अपना पड़ाव बढ़ा रहा है निश्चित रूप से हम शीघ्र ही विकसित राष्ट्र के रूप में विश्व के सम्मुख आएंगे और इस क्षेत्र में आपके ज्ञान का लाभ निश्चित रूप से हमारी बेरोजगार युवा पीढ़ी को होगी और बेरोजगार अभी मुक्त होंगे और राष्ट्र की विशाल समस्या जो बेरोजगारी की समस्या है उसे हल करने में आपके ज्ञान का निश्चित रूप से लाभ मिलेगा और भविष्य में भी हम आपके ज्ञान का लाभ लेंगे यह विश्वास दर्शाते हुए आपके प्रति मैं तहे दिल से शुक्रिया अदा करती हूँ बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मैडम इसके साथ ही इस वेबिनार के, के वेबिनार में इस लिंक के द्वारा राज्यों से जुड़े हुए सभी प्रतिभागियों के प्रति कृतज्ञता ज्ञापित करती हूँ क्योंकि उनके उपस्थिति से ही यह कार्यक्रम अधिक उत्साह पूर्वक संपन्न हुआ है सभी प्रतिभागियों के प्रति मैं हृदय से कृतज्ञता ज्ञापित करती हूँ आयोजन समिति के सभी सदस्यों के प्रति मैं कृतज्ञता ज्ञापित करती हूँ समन्वय डॉक्टर रूपा गुप्ता मैडम के प्रति मैं हृदय से आभारी हूँ इसके साथ ही इस वेबिनार के आयोजन में तकनीकी समिति जो इससे जुड़ी होती है उन सभी के प्रति मैं तहे दिल से शुक्रिया अदा करती हूँ इसके साथ ही इस कार्यक्रम को प्रत्यक्ष और अप्रत्यक्ष रूप से सफल बनाने के लिए जिन्होंने सहयोग किया उन सब के प्रति कृतज्ञ होते हुए पुनश्च मिलने की अभिलाषा लिए हुए आभार प्रदर्शन यहाँ संपन्न हुआ ऐसा जाहिर करती हूँ और फीडबैक की लिंक शीघ्र ही इस ग्रुप में दी जाएगी और सभी प्रतिभागियों से अनुरोध है की वे फीडबैक लिंक का उपयोग कर फीडबैक फॉर्म भरे और फीडबैक फॉर्म भरने के बाद ही आपके ईमेल पर उपस्थिति का प्रमाण पत्र आएगा इसके साथ ही सभी के प्रति पुनश्च धन्यवाद धन्यवाद मैम थैंक यू ऑल थैंक यू रूपा मैम एंड थैंक यू वी हैव टू सेशन प्योर इन इंग्लिश एंड प्योर इन हिंदी because we have implemented yeah uh, sorry actually i just want to say this um, I, i i don't know hindi i'm learning i'm in, <laughs> i will learn yes we have adopted national education policy so their hindi is the rashtra bhasha so we have yes. yeah <laughs> but i'm actually learning it like a uh, few few things i can understand but uh, not too much like uh, typical hindi i can <laughs> anyway thank you so much in future Very also we are expecting same cooperation from your side sure ma'am sure ma'am thank you thank you all thank you ma'am now it is my humble request to all the participants please fill the feedback form please give your feedback uh, the link is already shared in chat box